Although Eric Pereira recently graduated with a master's degree in information systems, finding a job hasn't been easy. Companies are trying to look for people who've had some temporary or full-time job experience. Um, in my situation, for instance, I've only had internship experience. Meanwhile, after working in insurance for decades, Janice Timpson was laid off in October and has been searching for work ever since. I've been sending resumes out um, um, through Monster and other um, networks, and um, it's really been difficult. Both Pereira and Timpson showed up to this job assistance seminar Wednesday, led by one Flushing. The director of the Community Economic Development Center is hoping to help them and others navigate through an increasingly competitive job market. We have many finance services banks. Um, these all require college degrees. Uh, we have many um, trading firms and other types of firms that require language abilities, um, advanced degrees. The director of One Flushing says locally he has noticed growing job opportunities at big box retail stores at the airports and in the healthcare industry. The fastest growing parts of the economy locally is uh, medical and health related jobs, uh, jobs in hospitals and medical centers, uh, dental and health assistants and professionals. Cho also connected job seekers with groups like the Center for Children's Initiatives, which helps organize daycare for parents re-entering the job market, and Workforce One, a city agency that helps qualified candidates find work. One of the account managers would meet with them to talk to them about what they're looking for, what type of position they've been uh, looking for, uh, what experience they have, and then we try to map out a job situation for them. Workforce One recently opened up offices inside the Flushing Queens Library. You can also access its online job bank at nyc.gov backslash workforce one. In Flushing, Mari Fagel, New York One.